In this video, I want to take the Laplace transform of e to the at using the definition of the Laplace transform. And this is where a is a constant. Now you might ask, well, why don't I just do the Laplace, tra Laplace transform of e to the t? Well, that's simply because when you're taking Laplace transforms, there could be a whole bunch of different a's that are here. You might have e to the t, you might have e to the 5t, you might have e to the minus 10t. So I want to do it for a general a. Here. Okay, so that's my reasoning. And when you look at the Laplace transform charts or Laplace transform tables, you're going to see e to the at in this. So to take the Laplace transform, it's the improper integral from zero to the infinity, positive infinity of e to the minus st, and then I stick my function in. So my function is e to the at dt. Well, to rewrite my improper integral, I'm going to do limit as, I'm just going to say a goes to infinity. I think last time I used r. It doesn't really matter what you call it. I just wouldn't use, oh wait, I just violated my own rule. I was going to say I wouldn't use st or a, and then what did I do? I went and used a. So I better keep going with r here. That seems to be working well. So that's 0 to r. And now how am I going to do this? Well, I think I'm going to take advantage of properties of exponents. If I'm multiplying like bases, then I add the exponents. So that's minus st plus at in the exponent of e. And I'm even gonna do one more thing to make it look a little nicer. I'm gonna factor out this t in the exponent. And then I'm gonna write it like a minus s, just cause I don't know, that looks a little nicer to me. I don't know about you. So that's a minus s times t dt okay now I just have to do this derivative or this integral I have to do this antiderivative so what's the antiderivative of e to the t well it's e to the t what's the antiderivative of e to the 2t it's e to the 2t divided by 2 what's the antiderivative of e to the 5t well, it's e to the 5t divided by 5. So I'm dividing by the derivative of the exponent. So I need to divide by a minus s. And now I evaluate from 0 to r. So that's the limit as r goes to infinity. If I plug in r, well, let's see, that's e to the a minus s times r a minus s minus if I plug in zero, sorry, I lost my train of thought. If I plug in zero, that's e to the zero is one over a minus s. Okay, and now here's the thing. I have to assume, I have to assume that S is bigger than A. Okay, so this is for large S. And this is an okay assumption, but to do this problem, this is, you, you actually have to assume this. Okay, and all the problems that you do you're gonna automatically make this assumption. So don't worry about this. When, when we get the answer, that's gonna to apply to all of your problems. But I just wanna, I wanna make this little statement because if I don't do this, it won't work. And that's because now, if I plug in infinity for r right here, if I evaluate this limit, the limit of a constant is a constant, so I don't have to worry about that. But here, I need the minus to take over. So basically this is e to the minus infinity, which goes to zero. And that's gonna happen with almost all of these Laplace transform problems. So as long as you have this assumption, this part will go to zero. And I get minus one over a minus s, which is the answer, but you usually see it written as one over s minus a. And that's simply because if I factor out a negative from the bottom, 
the negatives will cancel and then you write it backwards. So there's the Laplace transform of e to the at, it's one over s minus a. And again, I would recommend just memorize this. Just memorize that, that's gonna save you a lot of work, a lot of headache. You don't wanna go through this process every single time you wanna take the Laplace transform of e to the at, because it's gonna come up a lot, especially when you start taking Laplace transforms of differential equations. But if you wanted to do it with the definition, there it is for you. There's the answer, just like you're gonna see on the table. Just remember you need to make this little assumption if you're gonna do it using the definition. Okay, I hope you got something out of this video. Please like and subscribe. I put new videos up almost every day. And thanks again for watching.